I'm not 100% happy with it. This is Maureen and she's baked a lemon drizzle cake with her new cooker and she's going around handing out slices <laughs> to everybody in the in the marina. Wow. When you said you were making a lemon drizzle cake, I thought you were joking. No. Well, this looks... Wow, my word. Okay, that'll keep you going that's for 10 minutes. That's a slice and a half. <laughs> Thank you very much, Maureen. You are welcome, darling. Cheers. I've said it a gazillion times before, but I will say it again. You just do not know what's going to happen on these canals. It's warm, it's boingy, it's moist, it's full of pieces of lemon peel. Maureen, you are a darling. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> How's the cake? Wonderful. She makes the best cake in the marina. Would I lie? Do you want this for later? No. It's still it warm. Okay, yeah. Do you want to put it on plate? Get a plate and I'll put it um... G'day YouTubers, and you join me just outside the little village of Tarleton at the northernmost end of the Rufford branch of the Lees and Liverpool Canal. And it's also here that there is the lock which takes you onto the River Douglas, which forms part of the Millennium Ribble Link. It's almost time to go, tomorrow in fact. And Aslan is all prepared, and so am I. I have everything I need for the journey, with one major exception. For the past two years I've travelled all around the canal network single-handed until now. The issue is that the Millennium Ribble Link has a couple of areas where an extra pair of hands might come in handy, specifically Savick Brook which is said to be quite narrow and also a bit shallow in places as well as there being five or six locks that take you up onto the Lancaster Canal. Now if only there was someone I could turn to in a crisis. Some say she's exceptionally handy with an angle grinder and that if you were beaten unconscious on New Year's Eve she will drive hundreds of miles to help you out. All we know is she's not from the Samaritans but she is, in fact, my ex-wife. Ah, it would appear her camera shyness has got the better of her. Still, the day is young. If you see them coming, please try not to stand in their way. CHG are passing through, but where they're headed, they wouldn't say. Though I'm sure it's far away. Today, then, I'll be starting at Tarleton and travelling just down the canal to the lock, which drops you onto the River Douglas. Then we'll be travelling along against the tide, winding away, until we reach the River Ribble. The tide is out in this satellite image. And then along the Ribble, to the very shallow and narrow 
Savick Brook. And along there, winding away through seven locks, three of which are a staircase, and eventually ending up at the junction of the Lancaster Canal and the end of this particular episode. Good morning. It's nearly quarter past ten and it's almost time to go. Just waiting for the rest of the boats to go first and then I'm going last. I'm now making my way towards the lock at Tarleton and I mentioned previously that because Aslan won't reach six miles an hour I've had to come up with another means of getting across and in order to do that I'm going to be towed across by another boat and this is the very vessel piloted by Jim and it is 103 years old wow this is extremely nerve-wracking stuff not just about going over the link but the sheer organization and timekeeping of it all long now just dropping down to the level of the Douglas just gonna get hooked up with the rope oh my giddy aunt and away we go and I'm told that Jim doesn't like to hang around First turn coming up. The wake from Jim's boat is making it very difficult to steer Aslan. I'm having to give it continual trim to the side. And already we're catching up with one of the boats that went before. And we've slowed down now. There is no way I would have managed against this current. Back in season two on the Langothlin, I said that the Ponty Sullet was the scariest thing I'd ever done. Then in season five, I went down the tidal trench and I said that was the scariest thing I'd ever done and that I would rather go all day up and down the Ponty Sillet. Well, this trumps both of them. I would rather do the Trent and the Ponty Sillet aqueduct all day long. Not helped by the fact that every time Jim changes direction, Aslan leans right over. So I've got my hands full, and I apologise for any shaky video. <laughs> Mad! We're coming upon the Ribble now, and there's boats way ahead that are now heading right and there's also a sort of landmark coming up which is a warning beacon to stay to the left and it is called 
Aslan's lamp. The Ribble Estuary to the left and the Irish Sea. So any time now I'm going to make a right turn. I hope it's not too sharp. Between the two markers, yeah, she was on full lock back there and she wouldn't come round. Wow. And I've just been messaged by Jim on the radio and he says that Aslan is actually very heavy. I thought she was just normal weight for a boat but she's supposed to be about 18 tonne which is quite heavy for a narrow boat but then the engine alone weighs a tonne Well, that was, that even took Jim by surprise. I was just told by his crewmate they had to make a sudden turn there, turn into the wake, into the wash, and we're still feeling it. We are flying up and down. This is mad. Yeah, apparently that boat was going way too fast. And the problem is he's now turned around and he's coming back. bit less of a wake this time but still ooh <laughs> still turned into it wow we were squirreling side to side up and down left and right wow but it's a good job we turned into it originally otherwise it would have probably been capsized because of course no keel on an aeroboat Can relax again now and today is a double cause for celebration because not only am I crossing the Ribble Link it is May the 18th two years ago to today I bought Aslan I can just make out a boat ahead turning left which must mean Savick Brook is just up there and that's where we'll be unhitched and we'll be on our own and we're about to get untied And we have a green light for Savick Brook. If it was red, we'd have had to carry on to Preston Dock. Come on, girl. Come on, Aslan. That was positively trouser numbing. we've managed to turn into Savick Brook which was probably the easiest part of the entire journey I'm told to stay absolutely in the middle all the way heading along Savick Brook and this looks like the rotating sea lock there's a couple of CRT volunteers taking notes making sure that we get through okay just been told 
around this corner is a floating jetty and I'll need to tie up there and wait until told to proceed Yes. You naughty boy. Yes. Work it channel, please. <laughs> wow, it is a relief to get to Savit Brook. And we're all now just tied up and tied together, waiting for the go from CRT to get under the very low bridge just around the corner here. We're away, and I've had to put my stubby exhaust on. Very sharp bend. Oh, I don't know what the issue is, I could have fit it under that bridge, no worries. Savick Brook is basically a drainage ditch which was widened and deepened in 2002 to form part of the Millennium Ribble Link. And before the link was built and opened, the only way to get your boat onto the Lancaster Canal was to have it lifted out somewhere on the main network and transported by lorry. Just had a major, major panic session then. And all of a sudden, there was just this loud bang and a grunching, grinding sound. And every time I tried to stick her in gear, right racket. Turns out there was a massive lump of wood jammed in the prop. I seriously thought for one moment there, the gearbox was packed up and I was stuck at the head of the queue on Savick Brook, holding everybody up. Two years of travels by narrowboat, eh? When I bought Aslan, moved all my stuff on board and went on the water, I had no plan at all. I didn't know what I was going to do. Was I just going to travel around? Did I have a goal in mind? No idea, I just got going. Thankfully, the one decision I made beforehand was that I was going to film everything. I often think what a waste it would have been if I travelled once round the country and part of Wales and now here heading towards the Lancaster if I hadn't filmed any of it there would have been no travels by narrowboat now there's a thought Lock number seven, no that's wrong, lock number six, and these ones, until the Lancaster, well at least the staircases, we have to do ourselves.
That's number six done. Now just waiting for my crewmate. And on to number five. And then there's number four. And then there's three more locks, but in a staircase. And one of these locks here, I'm told, we have to reverse into, which will be a first. Lock five, and one of the best looking landing areas I've seen on my entire journey. And we're coming up to the very outskirts of Preston here. Well, that was number five, and now on to number four, funnily enough. Very sharp left and right turn goes back on itself, and I've slightly overcooked it on the uh, on the speed front. And then a the sharp right. Number five, Savick Way Bridge. And we're about half a mile from the Lancaster Canal Junction. A part of the Millennium Ribble Link that I've been looking forward to very much. Well, this has been both better and worse than I thought in equal measure. Terrifying moment when that boat went flying by and that huge bow wave came along. And uh, if I hadn't been towed by Jim, I wouldn't have thought to turn into it and I would have capsized. There's no doubt about that. And Savick Brook was a lot easier than I imagined. Nearly done lot four now. And then it's the staircase of three which I hear has volunteers on it, which would be nice. A rather tight, windy section here through this bridge and then a sharp right as well. Coming up now is the trickiest part of the whole Savick Brook and a real test of Aslan because I have to reverse into the lock and Aslan does not like reversing. Nope, I've never reversed into a lock before.
Oh my god. Please be gentle with the water. Yeah, so to make it easier, we are going into the locks together backwards. A hell of a lot easier. Once again, Aslan has performed admirably. And as I said, when I finished the tidal trend, she is a star. It's a carpet of weed which signals the last lock on the Millennium Ribble Link and very shortly afterwards the Lancaster Canal. And just over by there is the junction onto the Lancaster. A deceptively large descent on this staircase, or ascent, depending on your general outlook on life. These volunteers are worth their weight in gold. That has been a mixture of frightening and exhilarating 20 times over. And I've worried about that whole trip for at least the last three months. But I've done it. I am now on the Lancaster Canal. Wow. So, cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta da! Hello. She's trying to slip away. I wonder if I can just get a quick shot. Hey, come back. I just want a picture. Just one shot, that's all. Well, I tried. <laughs>